Hey guys, I am joined by Sarah Jane Langing, who is a professional dressage rider and also recently became a list one judge, which is very exciting. Um, and we are going to talk about mindset tonight. Um, yeah, just going to go into everything, see where it goes and yeah, go with the flow. So um, firstly, do you want to tell us a little bit about your, your background, like how you got into riding? Oh, now that's a really good question. I started, first time I ever sat on a pony, I was about eight years old mm -hmm. and I lived in Paris at the time, in no the city. Way. So I was a real city girl and I hated it. <laughs> I, apparently I screamed and screamed and said, get me off this smelly creature. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it at all. Wow. But it was in a sort of, um, the only way I can describe it is like a Thorpe Park type place. So oh, pony rides. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that, I didn't, I didn't carry on. Um, then my parents moved back to live in the countryside in Kent when I was yeah. 11 and a, uh, well, a near neighbour went for riding lessons so I went mm. one day to watch her having a lesson and thought well, that would be quite good fun. Yeah. She, um, I think her parents for Christmas bought her like a set of lessons, you know, like yeah. six lessons and she didn't really enjoy it. So they offered me the rest of the, yeah. the course. So I carried on, she stopped, and I started loving it. That's incredible. And then here we are. So were your parents horses all about? My mother had ridden, I think, as a little girl, but not been able to sort of, you know, they couldn't afford to, to yeah. do it properly, so she hadn't, but hadn't carried on, but then encouraged me Amazing. To, to do it. So have you done it as a career all your I life? I have never had a proper job, as my, <laughs> it as my is dad a proper said. Job. Well, I, I agree, but um, I think my father was quite horrified when I sort of started yeah. working with horses, but then he realised I'd made a, a go of it and he was, I think, very proud yeah. at the end. Amazing. Yeah. And how long have you competed for? Um, I started off in showing, so I did oh, um, working on ponies. I'm finding out all this for the yeah. best time, it's great. <laughs> um, so yeah, working on ponies, so showing was my background. So I'm very into like all the turnout and everything. Yeah. Being and do you think so... like the showing side has helped your dressage side? I think the the perfectionist side of it is definitely, yeah. well, as you know yourself, it sort of it can be a, a good thing and a bad thing because yeah. it makes you want to do everything too perfectly. Yeah, and, definitely. Which makes it difficult sometimes. But yeah, I think the presentation and the showmanship side of it yeah. was good. Because Charlotte was into showing she as was, well, wasn't she? Yeah. And I always think that gives yes. her such a good edge on yes. performing and really being able to show the horse off to the best of her ability. Yeah. Then um, I started, I had a couple of, well, I had one working on a pony that was really good, cross-country pony. Mm. So I started eventing. I didn't like the dressage, but obviously you had to do it. To, to go, to go <laughs> to the fun you bit. Nobody <laughs> likes the dressage part. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he was he was fairly good at it and he was always like fast and clear so I loved that um, and then oh. when I was 16 <laughs> I had uh, my first proper horse and he was an eventer yeah and he did I started in those days because I'm quite old <laughs> you had to go straight into I mean um, horse trials it was called it wasn't BE in those days it was a horse trials group Mm. And you had to go straight into what's novice level these days. There was no really? intro, no pre novice, no nineteen. Straight in there. Straight in at novice. So that was quite a thing. Quite a thing when I was sixteen to have to go wow, straight into novice. That's amazing. Um, and he won one with me when I was sixteen years old, wow. and he sadly was put down. Oh. A few weeks later. Oh, that's so awful. That was really sad. That's really hard. And then I had another event horse who was so strong. Um, I did get up to open intermediate with him but I decided it wasn't fun having your arms pulled out, flat yeah. out at that height cross country. So did you then turn to dress up? At the same time I had a youngster who wasn't very brave cross country and the ground got really hard one summer. So um, I started doing more dressage during the yeah. summer and he was a, just a thoroughbred, not particularly good moving, but he learned everything really easily. Yeah. And I got him up to Priest and George. No and way. I started thinking this is good fun. That's I like going sideways. I love doing flying changes. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. And then I had some help from some very, very good people on the way. Very Amazing. kindly let me ride some schoolmasters, and that's good. Um, yeah, wicked. So let's go into the like the mindset side. Yes. You know, that's what I'm really yes. big on. So have you ever struggled with your mindset? All the time. Really? All the time. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this is the lady. Last night she won the PSG Gold National Championships and you've competed. You compete at the Nationals, you compete at high levels. So like to hear you say that, I would never know that watching you. Um, even like watching you in the warm-up, you look so calm. So like talk us through a little bit what you feel you struggle with. I think it's, it's changed over the years, but for, I used to... Oh, I used to get nervous. I don't get nervous anymore. Mm. Uh, I think because I've done so many tests and mm, ridden so many yeah. horses. So it's not so much that, but I sort of look around and I see everyone with their 
flashy horses and their big lorries and yeah. I'm str you know I struggle a little bit and yeah. you just have to make yourself go out there and show what you can do and yeah. I used to look at everybody in the warm up too much and think well that looks better than me and I yeah, can't do that yeah, yeah. my horse can't do extended trot like that my horse can't this and my horse can't that and you feel like you're comparing yourself yes, to them all the time but I think judging has actually helped me because what you see in the warm up Mm -hmm. yeah, as you know Absolutely. yourself when you're competing you don't get necessarily mm -hmm. in the test do yeah. you what you get in, yeah. the, in the warm up definitely so I think judging helped me because obviously yeah. when you're judging you watch an entire class yeah um, and you see and that it's, it's not, not necessarily the big, not the big, big flashy moving. ones that are going to win because they mm -hmm. might come in eight seven eight and then spook in the corner or yeah. be silly and get tight and two and four yeah so the judging so side really helped that, I that think mentality. that really did and also making me aware of what the judge is looking for yeah um seeing people make errors and thinking oh that's you know i i mustn't do that i mustn't not go into the corner or i must mm. set my movement up and you see the people that really you know ride for every mark like if you watch yeah. charlotte ride a test and you know yeah 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 she, she really every corner every... and you you know everything's set up so brilliantly that it's yeah. made me aspire to try and so it's do not, a little bit of that i think it's a really good thing to pick up on that it's not having a flashy moving horse yes. and I always say like it's the cherry on top so don't feel that you can't compete like dressage or do well definitely in dressage because of the big moving I do ones. my I mean most of my job the way I earn my money is training people yeah and most of my or not most that's unfair a lot of my clients have got very ordinary mm. horses and ponies I think, a, I think a lot of people do yeah. you know all sorts of like natives and yeah. all sorts of different types and sizes and shapes and yeah and it's for me it's about proving that any horse right they're not all going to be grand prix horses but that any yeah. horse with correct training yeah. can, can and do it's quite that well. the foundations yeah. of like are they through? Are they Absolutely. straight? Are they like properly on the all that sort yeah. of thing? And like is the riders so test riding good? Yeah. So we do try and do in lessons. We try and do quite a lot of test riding if there's mm. big competitions coming up, and we being yeah. the judge. And yeah, that's so <laughs> good. That's so good that it's helped you out. Yeah. Amazing. And um, I'm actually going out competing in a couple of weeks on a friend's um, Irish draft cross Connemara. Going to go and do some music on it. So I'm really looking forward to that and riding yeah. something that's not, you know, your classical. Yeah dressage or people's idea of a normal dressage horse yeah so be wow that's be amazing exciting so going into a test because this is a big one for me going around the outside arena yes. if you don't feel like yes. it's gone particularly well in the warm-up because yes. you know we've all been I there. Have that feeling all the time <laughs> is there anything you kind of really try and tell yourself going around the outside before you start like to like regroup yourself before starting the test often what you see is not what you feel Mm. So I think my test yesterday, it didn't feel, or it was, I'm pleased with my horse, it was a clear round, everything yeah. came off, but he didn't feel as good as he can do. Yeah. Um, he he needed to do a dropping, which he didn't, he never does it when I'm going along. Oh, no. And so he did it in the walk, which sort of support my walk a bit, but I could feel that coming in the trot. He yeah. was just yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. behind my leg. Yeah. But by the time he got out, that out the way, the canter work was much better. Yeah. Um, it was really useful having a friend video me yesterday, mm. um, which I don't often have, but that really helped because I think otherwise I'd have come out and thought, oh, I need to put him round, or I need to do this, I need to do that, and actually watching it back on the video, yeah. I thought, it so does look, it it's does not look. always what it feels like. So don't like. panic if it doesn't feel like it does at home. Mm. And that's what I used to be so bad at. If yes. I made a mistake, I'd be like, that's it, I couldn't get it back, like it's game over sort of thing, and it's, yeah. I, I mean, think as well, from being the judge, you know it's one movement, so it's not you've got all these other movements to make up the me mark. too i used to panic that if they weren't in front of my leg i'd then start chasing them through the test mm, and then you yeah. spoil everything because it all looks rushed yeah um and i think that's the other thing that's really helped me is as a judge of course when you learn the test as a rider you just learn the pattern yeah when you learn it as a judge you have to know where each movement starts and finishes yeah so then for me if something does go wrong I, all right for, yesterday was freestyle so it's a little bit different but if if you're on a straight test let's say you break in the medium trot yeah but knowing where the next movement starts yeah you so make true. sure you're back you know on track the, like, the double marks are and yes it's, it's funny all those sorts of like things. the walk i feel gets missed a lot when people train um and to think like you know we, we fit for example i focus so much on getting that really good line of changes and it's like that the whole or the or the walk is like as in an as in but one line of changes is one mark isn't yeah, it and, and something the walk, else the walk's walk's like double, double mark. mark and then you've got two halts yeah. and you're actually yes. like the Sometimes. halts especially, I think. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm, I have got quite consistently good at my halts. 
and I was gutted at the regionals because I came in did a fairly good halt and then my horse went like that and I obviously oh, you know no. I didn't help him he lost balance yeah. and then it was like a six from three judges oh it's so expensive um, and I I came second and only the winner qualified I missed by 0.05 oh, no, or something like it. that the halt. and it's that halt and, the halt. and yeah I hadn't practiced any halts in the warm-up so I was kicking myself oh it's so, so hard yeah but you can't I think also you know it's important to remember especially as you go up the levels you can't train every movement every day oh You've yeah got to pick this is what I'm learning. Two or three things yeah. and not try and do everything. Definitely. Otherwise it's just too much. Definitely. So moving on, so for example, I know you didn't have a bad test last night, <laughs> but if you did, if we were sat in the yes. row with me last night who has had a bad oh. test, what would, you, what would your advice be to move forwards from it? That was one test, tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Not to dwell on Yeah. too much. I know you've got to, you've got to sort of analyse what happened and try and, you know, change things a little bit but it, it's in our sport it's one day isn't it it's not so the only world and so true yeah it's one day and you can always move forwards from it and horses are not machines yeah that's you again know, they, really can't, they can't i used to think i had to ride every single day i've only got an outdoor school at home and it'd be pouring with rain and i've got to go and ride i've got to go and ride now i'm getting old now and i'm like oh, wait <laughs> and because i'm saying not that makes me sound lazy but because no, i'm so no, busy teaching you don't feel I guilty. don't have time to ride my horses as much as I used to. And I think people will relate with that who have full-time yes. jobs. Um, yes. Or when in the winter I have a lot of clients yes. who feel guilty that they can't they ride. They haven't ridden. Yeah. To be honest with you, since I've been riding mine, I don't mean I don't ride, they're fit. They have to be fit to do the job that you yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. So I make sure they're fit, they go out hacking. They, um, the one I rode here last night, he can't hack because he's a bit of a nutter. <laughs> but I do take him in my top field and take him for a good old can, take yeah, it off his back. Yeah. He does pole work. They all try and do, you know, a little bit of variation. Variety. But I don't over drill him in the school. Mm. I don't go in and think, I must ride, I must ride, I must ride. And over drill yourself as yeah. well. Because it can get like that and you can just end up not enjoying it. Absolutely. And forgetting why you're doing it. Nice. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Any little wise nuggets? Ooh. Yeah, music classes. They've helped me become more really? chilled and relaxed. Really? So if anyone struggles, I know if you, if you haven't ever done music before, it can be nerve-wracking because you've got an extra thing to think yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. But once you've done that, actually it's a much more relaxed way, I think, yeah. of riding a test because yeah. let's say you don't have to come around the corner and start the half pass at that marker. You can wait mm. a few strides until your horse is set up and then Definitely. go. Or even with a halt, you know, it doesn't have to be at X. You can, yeah, that's so true. You can, you think can freestyle about, it. Yeah, so you can think about riding your horse more than... T I think too many people, they learn the test, so they're thinking about, I must do this, I must do that, but they're not thinking my horse doesn't feel front leg or my horse doesn't feel soft. Yeah. So they just ride the test, not the horse, whereas freestyle, I think, that's gives so you... True. Do you of, see that a lot as a judge then that people um, just? I see some. I see some really good freestyles here. Yeah. Because I've been here with just one horse to ride. I've actually sat and watched quite a lot yeah. without my judge's hat on, and um, it's been fascinating to watch all the different types yeah. and I've seen some really good. And the lady in the prelim, I think it was the prelim bronze. Was that today? Was that yesterday? I can't remember. I've been here so many days. <laughs> but watching, and she just looked like she was having a whale of a time, and her little yeah. horse, little cob, he was grinning, she was grinning, and I think oh, that's what it should that be. That is what about. it's about, isn't it? Yeah, it should. Definitely. Yeah. So I love these music championships. So yeah, thank you to BB. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Right. Thank you so thank much. You. That was so interesting. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs>